kuza za madamu wa kale zilizogunduliwa kilomita 45 kusini mwa bonde za jamii ya Australopithecus za France zenye miaka milioni 3 na laki sita iliyopita na mbali na hayo visukuku vya aina mbalimbali za wanyama waliokwisha na zana za mawe yamepatikana katika bonde hili tabaka za bonde la old pie ni kielelezo ya paleontology archaeology paleontology na anthropology ndio zimehifadhi masali haya na kuwezesha wataalamu wa sayansi hii kuja kuja kuzigundua
watu wengi au duniani kote wanapajua kama ngorongoro crater lakini hasa kitaalam panajulikana kama ngorongoro caldera sababu ni kwamba enzi hizo tunaambiwa kwamba kulikuwa na mlima ambao unaitwa mlima ngorongoro kulitokea volkano halafu ukadidimia ulipodidimia ndio tukapata hii ambayo unaiona ngorongoro caldera kwa nini kuna caldera chungu nzima duniani lakini hii inajulikana zaidi ni kwa sababu ya namna ambavyo inatoa burudani burudani yenyewe ni kwamba kuna uoto wa asili kuna mchanganyiko wa mambo chungu nzima kuna chemchem kuna ziwa magadi na vile vile kuna wanyama mbalimbali mbali.
conservation area is located in Africa, in the northern part of Tanzania. It is a unique protected area in the whole of Africa, covering about 8,292 square kilometers, where conservation of natural resources is integrated with human development as a multiple land use area. Ngorongoro is a, a World Heritage Site. Uh, it's also a man in Biosphere Reserve, recognized by UNESCO. But also Ngorongoro is an aspiring geopark. It is a must-see travel destination because within, one will find the famous Gorongoro Crater as one of the world's largest intact volcanic caldera. It is a large, unbroken, unflooded caldera formed when a giant volcano exploded and collapsed some three million years ago. Gorongoro Crater sinks to a depth of 610 meters with a base area covering 260 square kilometers. Apart from the main caldera, Gorongoro also has two other volcanic craters, Olmoti and Empakai. Gorongoro Crater is a sanctuary for thousands of wildlife species found within the area. The crater offers a haven for animal enthusiasts. Approximately 25,000 large animals, mostly angulates, live in the crater. It is the best place in Tanzania to see the Big Five. Well, this morning we um, left our little hotel at about six o'clock and so we were driving down the road and it was dark and all of a sudden we looked to the side and our guide was like look there's a lion and right there on the road not two feet away from us was this huge lion just just there just lying there just very calm and oh my gosh it was incredible a healthy population of black rhino and some of the largest Tusker elephants left in Africa today are the prize spots. But the crater is home to strong populations of lions, leopards and hyenas, along with good herds of wildebeest, buffaloes and zebras. Gorongoro Conservation Area is popular for large annual animal migration. The legendary annual wildebeest and zebra migration also passes through Gorongoro. During the large group migration, the beautiful, unforgettable scenarios occur. The mixture of forests, canyons, grassland plains, lakes and marshes, provide habitats for a wide range of bird life. Over 500 species of birds have been recorded within Gorongoro Conservation Area. Within Gorongoro, you will meet with happy, strong and cultural people, the Maasai. Gorongoro Conservation Area is the only site in the world with a high concentration of wildlife living with human communities. About 200 years ago, the Maasai arrived and have since colonized the area in substantial numbers. Their traditional way of life allowing them to live in harmony with the wildlife and the environment. The Maasai culture is worth a look. They are friendly and open, they are very nice and they are fun to watch. The crater is just one part of a much larger area of interrelated ecosystems. Miracle Shifting Sand and Olkarian Gorge are very beautiful features found in Gorongoro Conservation Area. 
This remarkable black dew composed of volcanic ash from Odonyo Lingai is being blown slowly westwards across the plains at a rate of about 17 meters per year, some 9 meters high and 100 meters long in its curve. And Olkarian Gorge is ecologically important because it is a vital nesting site of the Rupel's Griffin Vulture. Olduvai Gorge is a world-famous archaeological location in Tanzania, East Africa, and it is widely regarded as the cradle of mankind. It is one of the most important prehistoric sites in the world. Olduvai Gorge carries some of the oldest evidence of the remains of the earliest humans. It is here where Mary and Louis Leakey unearthed the first well-dated artifacts and fossils of the earliest humans, including Zinjanthropus skull, early stone tools, Homo erectus, and the larger brained hominin that preceded the earliest modern humans. Recently, Gorongoro, in partnership with the European Union, constructed one of the largest on site museums in Africa. The museum showcases some of the site's rarest prehistoric pieces, making it easier for tourists and researchers visiting the site to see. The museum was purposely designed to resemble the Maasai cultural bombers and uphold the traditional Maasai architectural style found in many communities resided in by the Maasai people. So big and green and breathtaking so many animals. I can't get over how green and big it is and beautiful. The lights on the on the mountains, on the hills, on the crater, surrounded in the middle of the crater. It's so beautiful. You will never forget it. It has been the best experience in my life. Gorongoro has truly unique sights. An opportunity.